I'm going to show you a little backcountry magic trick. I'm going to tell how much fuel is left in this fuel can using a hiking pole. So I'll do the trick first, and then I'll explain how you can do it yourself when you're out on the trail. This is a pretty useful trick. You know, when you're out on the trail, sometimes you're wondering how much fuel is left. You can shake a can to get a sense whether it's mostly empty, almost full, but you really can't tell how much fuel is left in it to make decisions about how you're gonna use the can. So here's the trick. I can take the can and stick it inside this strap and let it hang. And then I'm gonna balance the pole on my finger or for more accuracy, I can use a little knife and balance the pole on the blade of the knife. And with that, I can tell that that can of fuel has about six or seven grams of fuel left in it. So let's check my guess. The kitchen scale reads 106 grams. The metal can itself weighs 100 grams. So a reading of 106 means that there are six grams of fuel in the can. So our trick is pretty accurate. Here's how the trick works. Before heading out, I've made a set of reference marks on my pole. The mark furthest from the strap represents a weight of 100 grams, the weight of the empty can. And the mark closest to the strap represents 200 grams. That would be the weight of a full can. The marks in between are increments of 10 grams each. The way this kind of scale works, the marks furthest from the strap are gonna be further apart than the marks closest to the strap. That's just how this kind of scale works. Making these marks is pretty easy. Before you head out on the trail, uh, you can do this at home, get a kitchen scale and some container that weighs less than 100 grams. Put water in that container until the weight of the container and the water combined is exactly 100 grams. Accuracy counts, so keep adding or removing water until it says precisely 100 grams. This is a fixed length pole, so I don't need to do any additional preparation, but if you have an adjustable length pole, set the pole to some length that you can remember that you will always use whenever you do this trick. With that, you can take this container that now weighs 100 grams, put, it, put that in the pole, and then we're gonna balance it. Balance it on the blade of a knife and take your time until it balances precisely and wherever that is, move the knife back and forth to score a little scratch in the side of the pole. That's gonna be your reference mark for 100 grams. After that, take the container out, add a little bit more water until it says 110 grams. Put that in, balance that, scratch the 110 mark in. And keep doing that until you have marks all the way up to 200 grams. Again, remember that the marks the furthest from the strap, the ones that represent 100, 110 grams, those are going to be further apart than the marks for 190, 200 grams closest to the end of the strap. So if your marks aren't all the same distance apart, you are doing it right. I found that the scratches alone are enough for me to be able to read the scale when I'm out on the trail but they didn't show up on video, so I went ahead and added a little bit of paint to make them easier to stand out. You can do that if you want. That's all there is to this trick. If you take your time making the measurements and then balancing the pole and reading it, you should be able to estimate how much fuel is left in a can to within a gram or two, making this the most accurate technique I know for estimating fuel in a can while you're out in the backcountry. Best of all, this trick costs nothing, weighs nothing, wastes nothing, and once you've made the marks, it takes just a few seconds to read. Being able to tell how much fuel is in a can while you're on the trip can help you decide whether you need to ration your fuel or whether you have enough for that extra cup of tea or coffee. So I hope this trick helps you enjoy your backcountry trips even more. Cheers.